Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. In this video, last two problems I'm going to explain 17th and 18th. This will be the end on the problems on uh, network analysis. Next video, I'll explain you about crashing in network analysis. So that's a new topic that we'll discuss in the next video. But right now, <clears throat> we will start the problem number 17. Before starting the 17th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the 17th one. <clears throat> a small project consisting, considering of eight uh, activities has the following characteristics. Activity A, B, C, D up to H. Preceding activity. Then time estimates are given most optimistic, most likely, most pessimistic. T, O, T, M, T, P. Again, we have to combine and calculate T, E. Draw the network diagram. Fire, determine the critical path. Only two questions are there. No probability. So only we need the estimated time for each of the activity. Activities are A, B, C, D up to H and preceding activities are given in the problem. T, O, T, M, T, P. Now we combine these three times to cal calculate estimated time. We don't require variance. If probability is required, then only we calculate variance. Now, 4 T, M. Here the formula of T is T, O plus 4 T, M plus T, P divided by 6. Multiply the TM with 4. So 4 4 is 16. Plus 2 plus 12 divided by 6. You will get 5. 12 into 4. 48. 48 plus 10 plus 26 divided by 6. You will get 40. 9 into 4. 36. 36 plus 8 plus 10 divided by 6. You will get 9. Like this you have to calculate all estimated time for each of the activities. Now we will draw the network diagram. Now, there is no predecessor for A and B. That means A and B activities are started instantly. So, activity A, activity B. Two activities are busting out from first event. Right? Then, C follows A, D follows A, E follows A. That means after A, three activities are busting out. After A. So, this is A. So, from A, C, D, E, C, D, E. These three activities are busting after A. I am joining C here because B, C is the predecessor for activity F. So see here, activity F predecessor is B, C. That's why I have to join B and C. So C I have drawn like this, right? Then D and E. E, E will follow after a to 3. E I am joining along with F because E F G is the predecessor for H. E F G is the predecessor for H. G follows after D. See here. G the predecessor is D. After D, G follows. So after D, G follows. So I have combined E, F and G because E F G is the predecessor for the activity H. So H comes out after E, F, G. So E, F, G combined, then G comes out like this. So you must have perfect knowledge about how to draw the network. Without having the experience, without having the, I mean, knowledge of drawing the network, you cannot calculate anything. So ultimately, everything depends on how correctly you draw the network. And this, uh, I mean, perfection you'll get only by practice. The same problem you have to draw it yourself, seeing that all conditions are satisfied or not. Now, take the estimated time for each of the activity. A activity estimated time is 5, B activity 14, C activity 9. Like this, all the estimated times you take it down here. Now, EST values. The first EST value is 0. How many arrows are merging here? Only one. So, add up 0 plus 5 is 5. 
how many activities are merging here two activities so we need the maximum so 5 plus 9 14 or 0 plus 14 is 14 so 14 is the highest now how many activities are merging here only one so 5 plus 15 is 20 now how many activities are merging here three activities so we take the maximum 14 plus 9 23 or 5 plus 8 13 or 20 plus 4 24 so whichever is higher 24 is the higher so here only one activity is merging 24 plus 5 is 29 EST completed now LFT backward pass the last event EST LFT value will be same 29 29 now only one activity is busting so 29 minus 5 you will get 24 only one activity is busting so 24 minus 4 is 20 here only one activity is busting so 24 minus 9 24 minus 9 is 15 now here three activities are busting so we have to take <clears throat> the minimum so 20 minus 4 is 16 right 20 minus 4 is 16 so here we are uh, taking this achha, busting activity we are taking so here three activities are busting 20 minus 5 uh, 20 minus 15 is 5 here 24 minus 8 is 16 right and uh, here 15 minus 9 uh, it is uh, 15 minus uh, 9 is 6 so whichever is lower so 20 minus 15 5 is lower right so here two arrows are busting so we take the minimum 5 minus 5 0 or 15 minus 14 is 1 whichever is less 0 that's it we have calculated all LFT values now critical path is the longest path from first to last event where EST LFT values are same here 14 15 not same so this is not critical so critical path will go like this uh, 00 55 20 24 29 if we go like this we will not get the correct answer because 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 5 18 only 18 we are getting it should be the longest path so 5 plus 15 20 20 plus 4 24 24 plus 5 29 so this is the longest path 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 the critical activities are a d g h a d g h and the duration of the project is 5 plus 15 plus 4 plus 5 29 weeks that's it this is the end of problem number 17 now last and final problem problem number 18 draw the network diagram and show the critical path along with EST LFT only critical path we need here only diagram we have to draw time estimates are given 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 the so three activities are busting 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 right then 2 to 5 2 to 6 the so two activities are busting 2 to 5 and this is 2 to 6 then 3 to 5 4 to 5 two activities are merging in 5 2 to 5 and 3 to 5 then uh, 4 to 5 yes this is 4 to 5 that means in 5 three activities are merging 2 to 5 3 to 5 4 to 5 2 to 5 3 to 5 4 to 5 right then 4 to 7 5 to 7 6 to 7 this is a 7 4 to 7 this is 4 4 to 7 5 to 7 6 to 7 all the conditions are satisfied the time estimates are given write the time estimates on each of the activity 1 to 2 is 4 I have taken 4 1 to 3 is 7 1 to 4 is 9 that's it after taking the values EST value the first EST value is 0 only one arrow is merging 0 plus 4 4 0 plus 7 7 0 plus 9 9 right here only one arrow is merging 4 plus 10 14 here two three arrows are merging so we need the maximum 4 plus 6 10 7 plus 3 10 9 plus 1 10 all the three arrows 10 only we have taken 10 now this three arrows are merging again we take the maximum 14 plus 4 18 10 plus 8 18 9 plus 9 18 so EST values completed forward pass completed 
no backward pass. The EST and LFT of the last event will be same, 18. 18 minus 8 is 10. 18 minus 4 is 14. Now 18 minus 9 is 9. Right? Or here two arrows are busting. So 18 minus 9 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. Right? Here two arrows are busting. So 14 minus 10, 4. Or 10 minus 6, 4. Here only one arrow is busting. So 10 minus 3 is 7. Three arrows are busting. 4 minus 4, 0. 7 minus 7, 0. 9 minus 9, 0. That's it. Now the peculiar point in this problem is all the EST and FT values are same and all paths are critical because if you go 1 to 2, 2 to 6, 6 to 7, you can see 4 plus 10, 14, 14 plus 4, 18. Here also 18. So this is the critical path. Now if we go 1 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 7, 1 to 2, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 8, 18. So this is also critical. If we go straight, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 5, 5, to 7, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 8, 18, this is also critical. If we go like this, 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5, 5, to 7, so 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 8, 18, this is also critical. Finally, 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 7, so 9 plus 9, 18. So first time we are getting a problem where all the paths are critical. Because when we add up the duration, all the durations coming to 18. So all activities are critical. The critical paths are 1 to 2, 2 to 6, 6 to 7. 1 to 2, 2 to 6, 6 to 7. First one. Second, 1 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 7. Then third one, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 7. Fourth one, 1 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 7. Last one, 1 to 4, 4 to 7. And the duration of the project is 18 weeks. That's all. So totally 18 problems I have explained on drawing the network, calculating the EST, LFT values, finding out the critical path, float, total float, free float, independent float, and how to find out the probability of completing the project in a particular duration of time. All these things I have explained. So if you want complete command, watch all the videos, not once, twice, thrice. Then make the practice of drawing the network diagram. Because normally students will fail in drawing the correct diagram. Then you cannot be able to calculate EST LFT values. You cannot be able to calculate the critical path. Everything depends on the drawing the diagram. So make perfect perfection in drawing the network diagram. So inshallah we will continue our discussion on the network analysis for the next chapter uh, crashing in this network analysis. That topic we will take up in the next class. So if you are satisfied give a like to the video, share my channel, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we will continue in the next video.